one thing that I, I think you should mention to your group is it isn't just people voting for you, it's getting them out to vote. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is going to be a, a huge deal. The, the only thing, I, my base is really fired up, okay? His base, a lot of his supporters are just irritated. A lot of them are country club Republicans. They're out cruising. They're arrogant. They don't think, oh, she, she didn't have any money to run on. She can't, I can't buy the kind of TV advertising he's buying. So there, I think a lot of those folks are not worried about this race. Big mistake. Who was the candidate, folks, in the Republican presidential primary who raised the least amount of money and spent the least amount of money? Donald Trump. And this is a trend we want to continue. I would love to be able, if we win this race, it will be of historical magnitude. It will become an international story because we will be able to say on that, I can't wait to stand on Fox, which, by the way, I had to give that up, folks, for this. Fox, you can't run for political office and stay on Fox. You have to, that was a huge thing for me to give up. I can't wait to be on Fox News on May 22nd, late that night, and say, look what the people did. This is twice now that the people in America have done something of revolutionary magnitude. They have proven that it's not about how much money, but it's about passion and determination and boots on the ground and a fed up electorate who is ready to get control of their out of control government. I don't have a paid person on my team. Can you believe that? Who runs for a statewide governor's office? You're a representative. You know how to tip. Would that terrify you to death without a political strategist oh, to tell I don't you? Have what? Any of that. I don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but for a statewide governor's race, you got They told me, well, to run for you, got to have a political strategist. You have to have a communications person. You have to have this and this and all these paid people. I said, I don't need a strategist. I, I'm just telling the truth. I've listened to the people. I know what they want. They're why I'm in this. I can look them in the eye and say, this is why I'm here. I don't have to have a strategy. I'm just being real. Keeping it real. And if that's not what the people want, and we lose this race, I can guarantee you this, we've already won on many fronts. Because all these people are paying attention and saying, what is, why is this girl running for governor? This old gal. <laughs> because we already have a Republican governor. It's making people pay attention to what's going on in our government. And any time you have more eyes from the people on the government, it's good for the people. It's good for the state. So... Yeah, but it's not if we win this. It's when. When. <laughs> when. My husband would be telling me that. My husband keeps saying, I was like, I just can't visualize it. I can't visualize this. He said, you better. You better. And I said, you know, okay, so if we win this race, I will be the first woman governor in Arkansas history. And I'll also be the first woman governor in Arkansas history who rides her own Harley. Yes. <laughs> I went up to file, and on filing day, folks, oh, that last comment, look. on filing day, we went up to file, and as I was 